What up, what up, what up, Unbreakable Kicks Army. I was gonna take a day off, but then I thought, the Army ain't asked me to take a day off. And plus, I don't need to take no days off, Army. It's grind time, it's grind time. A lot of dope sneakers are about to be dropping soon. And we ain't got time for no days off, so we here. <laughs> so Army, smash that thumbs up for your boy being here. Subscribe to the channel, share the videos, do all that fun and good stuff. Army, I do got some news for y'all tomorrow. We will be going live for the Jordan 4 Oreos. I already let y'all know. Them joints going to sell out. Them joints going to sell out. They gonna sell out, but I will have a special guest on there tomorrow. It will be your boy in Shad TV doing the live. She hit me up like break, man. You need a female's perspective on these Air Jordan 4s. And I'm just like, we linked up in Dallas. Everything was cool. And it's gonna be a phenomenal live army. So it's gonna be your boy in Shad TV. So make sure y'all are tuning in for the live tomorrow again. This is gonna be the first time I did a live cop with somebody in a very, very long time, Army. So make sure y'all tune in. We got a male perspective and a female perspective, man. So I know it's gonna be a fire live. So let's just cross our hands for some W's, all right? So, Army, with that being said, I did get this box in right here. I wanna say this came from either in clothing or BSTN. Nine out of 10, it was in clothing. Of course, you know, in clothing, BSTN, Overkill, all of those um, Europe exclusives, they charge you the euros, and the euros are worth more than a dollar, so that's why the shoes are sometimes a tad bit more expensive. I did get some stuff that I've been looking for. Now, one sneaker in this box I never, ever, 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 ever in a million years thought that I would be buying this particular sneaker army, so let's go ahead and get to it. Mm. Go ahead and get this joint. Yeah opened up we'll see exactly what it is one of them for sure i'm 100 percent keeping the other one eh, i'm kind of on the fence about but we're gonna check it out Ugh, there we go all right man i need y'all to comment down below in the comment section man hashtag no days off man no days off arm right, this goes for anything in life man if you trying to achieve any goals and you trying to do it on your own, you ain't got time to take no days off, man. So get your butt up and get to work exactly what your boy did today, man. And woo, Army, I'm gonna start off with something that y'all are more familiar with first. Cause I got two pairs of sneakers in this box. We gonna start off with what's in this box right here, okay? We got a pair of, and again, Army, these came from In Clothing, I wanna say. It was In Clothing. This was an In Clothing purchase. And when I was moving fast, shout out to Soul Links and J23. I forget which one sent this uh, link out to purchase these. But I was moving extremely fast. And I didn't pay attention to the price. I'm like, bro, this is a good price. So I'm just going to go ahead and, and buy it. And when I check, I actually paid market. And these, I want to say I paid over overpriced for these too. Because again, when you shopping with Enclothing, BSCN, all of those websites, you're going to pay a little bit more than what you actually want to pay. So for the Air Jordans, I want to say after tax, I pay like 185. And label reads, Air Jordan 1 Low OG. Colorway is, we're going to show y'all. All right, so Army, I wind up grabbing a pair of the Air Jordan 1 Neutral Gray Lows. And this is a size 11 US. And of course, when I bought it, it was a size 10 UK. So I don't know what's been going on with me, man. I don't know if I need to check my temperature. I don't know. Boy, these joints are soft, bro. I mean, if anybody got the neutral gray lows, please, please validate what I'm saying that this is some of the softest leather I've ever felt on a pair of Air Jordans. I'm not just talking about Air Jordan 1 lows because I don't have a lot of them, as y'all know. I'm talking about Air Jordan ones in general the leather is extremely buttery on these were extremely buttery on these air jordan one lows now i do got the air jordan one neutral gray highs at the top now let me see if i can compare the leather right quick all right so neutral gray yeah it's a huge difference huge huge difference between the leather quality and the retro one low and the OG high. Y'all see that? Huge difference in the quality. This leather is phenomenal 
on these Air Jordan 1 lows. And the leather on the Air Jordan 1 OG High 85s is, of course, you know, it's that stiff leather that we got up here at the top army. So, again, for a summer vibe shoe, this is a nice summer vibe shoe, these Air Jordan 1 lows. And, again, I don't know what's going on with me, but i kind of been digging the Jordan 1 lows a little bit. I definitely want to get the Dior lows, the Travis Scott lows over here. If y'all caught the live, we talked about that. I said that the Jordan 1 Travis Scott lows are better than the OG highs as far as the colorway. That goes for the blue ones that's coming out, and it goes for the OGs as well. Also, if any members of the Army have a size 11 in the OG high neutral grays, throw that trade up on trade block, and if you can fit a 10 and a half, this is a 10 and a half. I'm looking for a size 11. So if anybody got an 11 or 11 and a half in a neutral grays, I'm looking to swap with this size 10 and a half on trade block. But again, Army, yes, these neutral gray lows, phenomenal, nice quality, buttery, soft leather on these. Now, the second shoe that I have right here is 100% nostalgic base. 100% nostalgic. I don't know if y'all seen Snipe Instagram post, but he has a complete set. I only really wanted this pair right here because it was a combination of all of them together. Now, I was born in 1991, so growing up, Power Rangers was everything. Power Rangers was my first love, so I wind up grabbing the Power Ranger Reebok Megazord, what is these, um, Question Mids. And what's so dope about the packaging for these joints right here is that if you get all of them, the Red Ranger, Blue Ranger, Yellow Ranger, Pink Ranger, and Black Ranger, plus the Megazord Question Mids, they all make up the actual Megazord. You remember like how you have to get the T-Rex, the Mastodon, you know, as a Power Ranger fan, I know y'all know what I'm talking about. So the box does look a little bit jacked up because of the shipping, I guess, with in clothing. But let's go ahead and check out the sneakers now. Again, I don't know if I'm gonna collect the rest of them, but if I but if I do come across them for a good price, just for that nostalgic vibe, I will wind up grabbing them. Now, this is the first pair of irises I have ever, ever bought. I've never owned a pair of Allen Iverson sneakers. And I've had Reeboks back in the day when I was a kid, but I've never had a pair of questions. And these joints is so fire, man. Because if y'all remember the Megazord, one of them was a Sabertooth Tiger. The other one was a Triceratops. You got hits of the Mastodon right there on the side of the shoe as well. The tongue looked like it is the Tyrannosaurus Rex right there on the tongue, but I don't see much of the Pink Ranger though. I don't see much of the Pink Ranger on these joints right here, man, but an army, this is definitely one of those just nostalgic pair of sneakers. Like even look at the back of it right here. You see all of the coins. Y'all remember when all the coins activated and then it transformed into the Megazord? Like I feel like the biggest kid right now looking at these. And again, now I'm questioning myself no pun intended, should I go ahead and grab the rest of them to make the whole Megazord, cause like how Snipe had it, he made the whole Megazord out of all the boxes. And I'm just like, bro, that is so dope. Again, I grew up on Power Rangers. So Army, excuse me if I'm a little bit geek on some stuff that happened 30 years ago, but this right here, man, this is just, this is one of those first loves. You never get over your first love. And Power Rangers was my first love before sneakers, before any of that stuff, man. So this was definitely a must cop. Now, again, I did grab these on Ant Clothing. So if I probably grabbed these over here in the States, it probably would have been a little bit cheaper. But they were still in my cart when I was adding Neutral Grays. I didn't want to take these out and potentially lose my chance of grabbing a Neutral Grays. So I said bump it and wind up grabbing both. So I do feel like I pay over retail, at least in the States for these. And I know for a fact I pay over retail for the Air Jordan 1 Neutral Grays. But let me know in the comment section, Army, how y'all feel about both of these pickups. Again, this ain't one of those, oh, I'm going to rock them etc i probably will rock them neutral gray lows those are nice quality is phenomenal on these but these right here definitely one of them sneakers where you just want to keep just for that nostalgic vibe army so again let me know how i did in the comment section below army i love you guys we continue to grow every day appreciate y'all hitting that thumbs up appreciate y'all sharing the video appreciate y'all just being here with your boy man it's been 
four long years and the army is still strong new merch is on the way we get a bigger and better everyday army again i love you guys i appreciate you guys for being here throughout all of the times the good times the bad times we are still here rocking and rolling so other than that you got your boy unbreakable you got the unbreakable vote you got the air jordan one low neutral grays again nice quality phenomenal air jordan low Hopefully they do them shattered backboards like that. It will only be right for them to put nice soft leather on the shattered backboard lows. You got the question mid Megazord edition. Unbreakable army, stand strong like always, and like the merch says, hug your loved ones. And we out.